Today, we prank a woman who's fairly high strung because mm. of her stressful job managing a well known coffee franchise. Oh, oh, I could, okay. oh my gosh. Imagine yeah. being the manager. I know, but high strung people are so fun to prank. I mean, <laughs> she works really hard, rarely gets time off. She needs oh. it, though. Oh, so, no. what do her employees do to pay her back once mm. she's finally relaxed on vacation? Oh, come on, guys. They get ask get us to mess with her. That's right. And tell her expected. the only barista working today is a brand new hire, an octogenarian oh, named no, no. Alan Winterbottom, oh, who's yeah. never made a cup of coffee in his life. No but way. he's excited to tell her about it in your phone tap right now. Hello? Hey, hey sh- shut up over there. <laughs> no, I saw you stealing spoons. You, you got to pay for those. Hello? Rap Scallion, get back here. Hello? Oh, get, hi. Who's this? Uh, you called me. Who is this? My name is Alan. Alan Winterbottom. I, I, I think you're my manager. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, you, you know Noel? Yeah. Noel, she hired me yesterday and she gave me your number. Wait, and wait. Said in case of emergencies, I, I should call you. Noel hired you? I, I... Apparently, she was. Going to some kind of shindig, uh, Austin City's limits to get <laughs> up or you know, uh, whatever that means. Are you joking right now? No, I, I just needed a job, and the post office wasn't hiring. So Noel said, "Okay, put on this apron thingy." Wait, wait, you're at the coffee shop right now. Who's with you? Who's with you? Uh, well, nobody. Oh. But what? There, there's a long line of customers and. I, I can't find the ham for this machachado thing. Am I sorry, ham for a macchiato? Oh, yeah, that, that's it. The, the fancy Italian sandwich thing. No, it's not a sandwich. Try- it's a drink. It is a, a macchiato is a drink. It's a drink. Oh. Yes, and you do not put ham in it. Oh, I thought it was one of them newfangled devil foods like avocado toast. <laughs> All the young people love them. Have you even drank coffee before? Oh, gosh. This is espresso machine. It's got so many buttons. It's oh, it's like don't an, push that. It's like an alien spaceship. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, would you look at that? It's doing its thing all on its own. No, no, step away from Wait, the espresso machine. What's wrong with this thing? No, it's just coming out brown. Oh. Well, that's coffee. Then, coffee is brown. Why are people spending so much money on this crap? Nine dollars. Because they want to, and it gives us work to do. You're all getting ripped off. (laughs) Don't say that. Do not say that. You shouldn't be buying this. I could make it for myself at home for 30 cents. (laughs) For a nickel. If they do that, we don't have jobs, Alan. If they do that, we don't have jobs. Hey, by the way, while I got you on the phone, some wahoo tried to prank me with a sissy drink. Oh. Oh. A sissy I drink? I wrote it down. It was so dumb. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. It's, he said, half calf, oat milk, extra foam, with exactly two and a half pumps of That's syrup. a real drink, Alan. That's a real drink. Yeah. That's a real order. And for the love of God, stop calling customers drinks sissy drinks. Oh, it, oh so it's a real drink? <laughs> yes. Well, I guess I probably shouldn't have slapped him then. Oh, what? Oops. No. That, that's my bad. Tell me you did not slap a customer. <laughs> well, yeah, his, his lawyer called. Oh, what? I, so, yeah, I I kind of admitted to it. Uh, no, no, no. He was no. not happy, though. Oh, my God. This and, is not happening on my vacation. I, I'm not happy either. It, it's my break time, and... There's Wait. about 40 people in this giant line oh. right now. They're all pretty angry with me. Well, they should be. Well, I'm tired, so maybe, maybe I could clear them out by telling that story about how I survived Niagara Falls. How old are you? Well, I, I, I'm old enough to take prank phone call requests from your co-worker, Tyler. Oh. He still thinks those are funny. What happened to the noise? Why is it quiet? Because all the customers <laughs> left when they realized that I'm actually Jeff from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning, and we're doing a phone tap on you, Vicky. Are you joking? No, I'm serious. <laughs> Your coworker Tyler wanted to set you up for a prank because he said you're on vacation and he wanted to mess with you. No f-ing way. No f-ing way. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you seemed pretty frustrated there for a second. I'm not really sure why. I, I was frustrated because I thought this was my last day with the company and they were going to fire me. <laughs> well, if that's the case and you're on your way out, can I get a free muffin? <laughs> it looks yummy. If I ever hear that voice again... Uh... <laughs> well, Vicky, don't be afraid. You sound like a cutie. Oh. <gasps> uh... <laughs> Did we meet overseas when I was stationed in Normandy? That was probably my grandmother. We look exactly alike. Oh, yeah. She was a firecracker. Oh. <laughs>